Hey everybody, what's going on? Look what I got. Oh dear. Oh no, this is a problem. Can you hear me okay? I'm not using earbuds, so hopefully the sound is going to be fine. I thought we would open some packages. This is a box. We're going to be here all night long. Let's hurry up and get to it. Should we start with the smallest one? You guys, my hair was cute today. It had little spirally curls. And then it rained. And forget it. Now it looks like this. Oh, hell. You know what? I should have opened this before I started. My bad. I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with crinkly sounds for a minute and struggling. Struggling to open something. Um, and I also did something that I'm pretty proud of. I printed out the prices for a change. But if I'll be able to find them... Ooh. I almost cut that thing, whatever that is. If I be able to find them, that's a whole other matter. Now, you can't see behind... Oh, wait. Okay, so before I get started, I'm wearing that. If you watched an earlier video of mine, I'm wearing that stand-up or something. Ugh. Can't see it. I'm wearing that shirt that we didn't know if we liked or not that's half chanel -y and half black. I'm wearing it with black pants and... This jewelry is from HRH Collection. That's a YouTube channel here, and she makes jewelry, jewelry. I can't say it. This ring is from the Cracker Barrel gift shop. Okay, so nothing, so I'm wearing the Timu shirt. I wore it with black, black pants and heels. And if I do say so myself, I look pretty good, especially with the hair curled before it got rained on. All right, let's go. Am I showing my address to the world? Probably. The first thing in here. Okay, we got the cow print pillows behind us. Oh Lord, I'm not even sitting on my bed. I'm sitting with, I'm sitting with one leg on the floor, you guys. Cow print pajama bottoms. Now let's see what they feel like. Can you hear me over that crinkling? Let's see what they feel like. Oh, they're soft like the sheets. Oh, yay. I was afraid they were going to be that polyester feel. No. They're totally soft. I'm so excited. I think I deliberately got these in an XL because I like my pajama bottoms big and roomy. Yes, I did. Okay, they've got cows, they say moo, they say milk. Is it backwards? That says woo. Oh, did I forget to fix the settings? I don't know. Anyway, I can't wait. Oh, they need to be washed. They smell, they smell like a factory. Um, I'm just gonna aim for them and I put them right here. All right. So, yay, thumbs up for the first purchase. Shh, gotta be quiet. Next, feels like something else. I don't know what it, oh, how much did I pay for them? Do you guys wanna know? Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff, I printed out three order forms. Um, do, 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 no. I paid. I've seen other hauls where the people actually write the stuff down on the bags, how much they cost. That would be nice if I did that, huh? No. I don't know what I paid for them. Oops. I tried, you guys. Wait, there's one more. Cow, cow print pajama bottoms. Holy cow. No pun intended. Alien pajama bottoms. I don't see it. This isn't going to work as smoothly as I was hoping it would work. But I'm going to say what I always say. That I don't think I paid more than 10 bucks Because that's a lot. I don't. 
I didn't see, I don't know, I'm confused. Oh, I know what this is. This is a bathing suit. And unfortunately, any men watching this channel, I'm not gonna model it. It's a, It's got a mermaid top. Yay, seashell boobs. It's got, the only thing I don't think I like are these gigantic, um, these gigantic, is my butt that big? I hope not. Uh, and they're not they're the bottoms, but the thing about this is then it comes with a little, <laughs> I'm of that, I'm, I'm officially that age where I'm gonna wear a little skirt with mermaid flaps over the bottoms of my bikini. Now, now, I did see that when I printed this out and I can tell you that I paid, well, this is just so awkward. Not on that. We'll try the prices again some other day. Because obviously it'll take forever for me to look up every price here. Silver snake, no, no. No, no, no. Good Lord. Plus, I kind of like it to be a surprise. Make sure it's not on this. Okay, I paid $14.97 for those, for that bathing suit. But I have a lot of credit price adjustments where they've given me credit back. So, and there, so if, a, if you buy something and then the price drops, you can request a price adjustment in the menu and they'll give you back and they'll credit your account that amount. And I got, a, I've gotten a lot of credit on this. So probably the price dropped. All right. I can't wait to try that on. What is, well, ugh. Well, I'll wash it, obviously, before I wear it, but it does, should I just put the top on now while I do this, while I do this, <laughs> this all, oh no, you pull it on over your head, I, if I could, I would, just to be funny, but it doesn't fasten in the back, you just pull it over your head, I don't, I can't do that right now, it's gonna mess up my perfect hair, all right, what's next? What's next? It looks like some more wall art. That's exciting. Um, I did, I spent a lot of money on this app on accident, but I also bought stock in it. So, and also in my description, I'm going to post, and I'm not sponsored by Timu, but I'm gonna post a link and a code where if you want to down, use the link, download the app, and use that promo code, you'll get 30% off. And I think I'll get $5 in credit or something. I don't know. That would be fun for both of us, wouldn't it? Okay, I really love this. I am some, I mean, I try to be a writer in my job. That's my job. And stuff and it says your life is your story write well edit often often uh which is fitting i'm gonna ha i'm gonna frame put it it's it's a canvas it's a canvas print and i'm going to put it in gonna get a frame for it and put it in my cubicle because i am living that cubicle life and I like to fill my cubicle up with little things that make me happy because it's a cubicle. And when you work all day in a cube, it gets a little discouraging sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm used to having an office. Um, here's an, this must be more wall art. So if you order one of their canvas wall art, they do thankfully send it in a hard, tube so it cannot get crunched in the mail. I appreciate that because we've seen some boxes here on this channel where things are just, just got been crunched to hell and back and I would hate to spend well I'll look in a minute and see what I've paid for that piece. Ugh. Stick it on that bag. 
Okay, let's see. I'm trying to remember to keep my hands in the frame. Okay, this one. <laughs> it's like that painting, The Scream, except it has a cat screaming instead. Look, it makes me laugh. Leave me alone. All right, I'll tell you what I paid for those since we found that one. I paid, you know, ironically, I can't find frames on Timu. I can find poster frames, but I can't find frames for these things. Okay, for that, your life is your story, write well and edit often or whatever it said, that was $2.99. And I'm assuming that this screaming cat thing was about $2.99 as well. It's on another... It's on another one of these sheets. But we don't want to be here any long, much longer than we have to. Ugh. No, I don't know. But the, the wall art runs about $2.99. I should start this over. No. I got some self-stick hooks that are not supposed to damage your wall, but they are way small. You guys, I thought they were gonna be bigger. That once again, always look at the dimensions. If you slide through the photos on this app, you'll see one that has dimensions. Please pay attention, I never do. And then I'm always like, eh, wait a minute. I thought they were bigger. These are tiny little hooks. I don't know what I'm gonna, I needed some hooks, but I needed bigger hooks. Do I have the hooks here? Mini hooks. I paid $2.88 for those. If they were the size I needed, that would have been fine. All right. I see a ton of earrings. Sorry. But I thought these were really cool. They are drippy. They, they're hoops, but they... Come on. Uh, they're hoops, but they look like they're dripping down, kind of. Can you tell? I don't know. I don't know. There. So they look like that. Not hoops. They're little circles. Drippy, drippy circles. All right. I don't have my... Uh-oh. I don't think we can fit anything else in this. You guys know if you've watched previous videos that we we take when we get jewelry, we put them in this bag and then deal with them later. And I have yet to deal with all of these things. And this bag is starting to burst at the seams. So, oops, I should have bought more little bags. This is a ring. Oh, how much did I pay for those earrings? I don't know. This ring I paid $2 for. $2 and six. This ring that I'm opening now, I paid $2.60 for. And it's a bag within a bag. You guys know I love that so much. Okay. My lips are dry. Okay, so it's a beautiful pink sparkly ring. But it, is it gonna fit on my gigant? Oh, it's too big for all my fingers for once. It'll fit on my thumb. Well, you guys know I've always wanted to have one for every finger. Let me take off the Cracker Barrel ring and see if it fits on. I think this is my fattest finger there. It fits comfortably on this finger. It's pretty, is it silver? I guess it's silver. Huh, all right. Put that in the trash. Next is another ring. And I'm sure it's another bag within a bag. Within a bag within a bag. You guys, oh my gosh. When I turned down my street today, I saw these this pile of orange from like 
half a mile away and I just put my head down on my steering wheel and went, oh gosh, the shame. What does the mailman think? What does the mailman think? The mailman probably hates my guts. I'm curious. I want to ask him. I, there's a video that I watched where they showed the inside of a post office with Timu bags. Uh, no, I'm sorry, mail carrier trucks, and they were just filled with Timu bags. All right, I'm engaged. Leave me alone. It fits perfectly on that finger. Yeah, I'm not engaged, but if I ever want to act like I'm engaged, this is a perfect. Now, the jewels don't go all the way around the band, but I won't. I'll just make sure people don't. I'm engaged. Leave me alone. All right. next. I'm going to call this part one, two, and three. There's no way I'm opening all three of these in one video. That's crazy. That one I see all the little, oh, these are cute. All the little earrings in here. You guys, I live for the earrings. These are, except they look kind of funky. These are, what's happening? The cats are doing something. The cat's playing with something. These are kind of abstract hearts. They're a little bit gooey looking, gooey looking hearts. I don't know how I feel about those. They are what they are. I mean, I don't think they're gonna stop traffic or anything. I don't know. They look better in the picture. Frankly, I paid Okay, the bridal ring, the vintage style. Okay, this I'm engaged, leave me alone. I paid $1.77 for. I'm so proud of myself. I can tell you what I paid for some things. The big, this big ring I paid $2.60 for. And the rest of the stuff is not, I don't know. They took a bunch of orders and mixed them all together in one bag. So I don't have it. Like, as you see, I have four, five, six pieces of paper with stuff. And I thought I could just cruise easily through them, but no. All right, here's some more earrings that I thought would be pretty. And now I don't know. How many minutes are we on? 17 minutes? Okay, sure. They're just little jade, white jade studs. They would have looked really pretty with this shirt, actually, if I had them. These are just, these are earrings I got in a Fab Fit Fun box. But if I had these earrings one day earlier, I would have worn them with this shirt and they would have looked cool. They would have looked really cool. What did I pay for them? I think everything costs about a dollar. 78 or a dollar 50 or two dollars and the jewel the jewelry is so inexpensive and i mean, no it's not gonna last a million years but it'll do what it's supposed to do here's a big rock of a <laughs> here's a big rock i'm engaged leave me alone why did i buy a size eight for this. And I'm joking when I do that, you guys. Nobody's hitting on me. Nobody's trying to get me to... Oh, I'm running out of fingers. Okay, so it's... Yeah, it's awesome. I keep looking over here at this thing. I'm not used to recording on this iPad. Woo, I wish it would fit on this ring finger. Let me, let me see if it'll fit on the ring finger. How many carrots would that be in real life? Oh, it's a little too big. I'm really engaged. Leave me alone. Wow, that is just delicious. I cannot wait to wear this somewhere. I really can. It's awesome. I'm thrilled. Look, the little things delight me. All right, put my diamonds on. 
put this on this fit. Does this fit? Help. I got to put this pink one somewhere. I'm going to put the pink one in it. Remind me that I'm putting the pink ring in the bag. Okay. This is a necklace that's got legit a little gold paper clip hanging off of it. I thought it would be appropriate for the office. You know, because, wait, no, I think it's got a safety pin. I take that back. Cut it open. I don't care if I cut that part. You guys, I have got so many orders still on the way. I wish I would tell you what I paid for this bag, but I, I, they put a bunch of orders in one bag as usual. It's all tangled up, but it's a three, it's a, a layered necklace with a <laughs> with a gold safety pin on it. That looks nifty. Hopefully that will look, I don't know, kind of different. I like your safety pin necklace. Thanks. I buy them for the compliments. Oh, my ratty rained on hair. Now these are my going to be my favorites ever. I got so excited when I saw these earrings on the website. And I'm so excited to have them right now. So excited that I can't get them open. But they're earrings that look like... Uh, you know, can flip top. What do you call them? Can opening openings that you open cans flip tabs. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you call these things. Anyway, they're two earrings that look like you just popped them off a Coke can and stuck them on your ears. And they're funny. They make me laugh. And they're a conversation piece. They're a statement piece. And what did I pay for those? Um, let me just pick up some random thing and hope that it's here. No. I'll get more organized for part two. This one is huge. Okay. I paid $1.77 for these. And the chain... I don't know. There are so many, there are so many earrings and chains. I don't know, but they all look about the same price. Okay, don't lose those, she said to herself. There's more stuff in here. Okay, this is a poster hanger, and I was hoping I could... Let's see. So, the closest thing I could... Oh, no. It's way too short. But I could put it in the middle. I don't know. Let me see if I, you clip this on, and that you clip one of these on the top, and you clip the other one on the bottom or I don't actually I don't know I've never used it before it's a magnetic poster hanger and I thought it would work for one of these things but they're too big unless I unless I can center it no then the edges would curl in I just I need frames for those things that's the only annoying part about it all right, I'll save that ring for later because we're sick of rings. What is this? Oh, it's washi tape. I'm thinking of reopening my Etsy store. It's called Kitchen Whimsy. It's called Kitch and Whimsy. And if I do, I want my packages to be cute. I want to tape them up with cute tape and put little gifts in them for people who order things from me. And... I sell uh, kitschy things that are uh, refurbished or, re or fixed or in their normal natural state. It just depends on what they are. But I haven't had that store functioning for a long time because it's kind of a lot of work. And But I might try it again. This ring is really pretty. It's got a little gem that drops down from it. Oh, good. And it fits on this finger. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I like it. 
Okay, don't lose my favorite Cracker Barrel ring. I love the Cracker Barrel gift shop, you guys. I'm not kidding. I don't know what this is. The shelf life is three years. It's all wrapped up, so I can't even see. I can't. I don't know. Holly Jojo. Professional color. Is it lipstick? Some kind of lipstick? Why would I buy lipstick when I... Oh! It's a knockoff. Oh, I can't find... It's... Oh. I've got a makeup bag over there, and I'm, it's a knockoff of NYX Fat Oil for Lips. It looks almost exactly like it, except it says Holly Jojo, and it's kind of bubbly. Ooh. Now, look, I don't even like the... Oh, it's really gooey, and... Well, now, let me just go ahead and put it on my mouth. Uh, it feels like I got slimed. Oh, who are you going to call? Ghostbuster? It's all right. I mean, I'm a little... I get on my teeth. I'm a little scared of it, but... Wow, they totally knocked that off, you guys. If you guys have seen um, NYX, I don't know, I call it NYX. A fat oil for lips, same top, same container, same font, same everything. I wish I could find mine and hold them up side by side, but we don't have time to dig through this makeup bag and find it. We just don't. We got better. I think that was the last thing in here, you guys. Oh, I'd shake it up. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stop this at 27 minutes and I'm gonna come right back and make another one with this one. And then I'll come back and make another one with this one. And then that should be enough content. I don't know though. The views, I don't know. Maybe I'll upload one a day and not all three at once. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing as some kind of a serious YouTuber, I, I do like, uh, thank you for liking this video and helping me hit the Timu algorithm. I noticed that what I should not have done is in that very first video that's got about 500 views. I shouldn't have run my mouth about a bunch of stuff before I started opening. I should have just grabbed it and started opening them right away because strangers don't know who I am or that this used to be a channel that had some stuff going on and so that was kind of a mistake because people watched that video and nobody wanted to come back because then now my other videos don't have very many views so they're not usually if you see a TV a Timu haul video I've seen a lady who's got 500 subscribers but her Timu haul videos get something like 15,000 views and I can't figure out how to crack that code. I think I blew it. I think I blew my one chance. All right, bye everybody. If you watch this and stay to the end, you are a saint and thank you. And I will be back with both of these. I'll try to get my ducks in a row with the prices for these. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye. How do I stop it?